Good guys and welcome back to another episode of Guy Tries Hardcore Minecraft. My name is Guy and in today's episode we are going to be making some big progress in our world. But before we do, quick question. What do you get when you come across a giant tree stump and a giant cactus? Well, if you've seen the title of this video, then you know it's going to be a giant creeper, which we have down that way. And that's why you can't see. And all you can see is Sean the Sheep from our previous episode. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start collecting all the materials that we'll need. Because this, well, for this particular episode, we will need a lot of materials because we're going to be making a lot of big things. And one of those things that we'll need to get first is gravel. So let's go ahead and get that. And when will we get that? Well, we could go ahead and we can start farming around the sand and all the little areas around the shoreline, of course. But I know of a better place. And that place is, of course, the nether. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, baby, the nether. The hottest destination of 2022. A place where you can work on your tan all day long. Not to mention the lovely staff members who like to play games. We've got archery. Oh shit. We've got tag. Oh shit. And if you're lucky, no, a no, game no. of catch. Come on, then. No, 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 no. Oh, sh now I know what you're thinking. Guy, where's the gravel? I don't see no gravel. Well, that's because you're not looking. In the right place, Stupid. find yourself a soul sand valley, look down, and there it is. Wow. We got gravel, and we got gravel, and we got more gravel, and gravel, and gravel, and... You get, you, you get the picture. We got gravel. So let's go get it! Hello there. Whoa, shh! Whoa, 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 Okay. Ooh, gravel. Huh. Nice try! Oh man. More gravel. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not worth it. Nope. Okay, fine. And just like that, we got ourselves several stacks of gravel from the nether and also from the previous project. Speaking of previous projects, let's go ahead and visit Sean the Sheep and get ourselves some wool. Where are ya? There you are. We'll grab ourselves some of that lime. We'll need some green. And we'll definitely need some of this black wool as well. Now for this project, we'll need a lot of green dye. So let's go see if we have enough. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think we have enough. Hmm, I don't think that's enough actually. So I think we might have to build a cactus farm. Oh, I don't want to make a cactus farm. Lucky for us, we know where to find some cactus. So let's get going. But just as luck would have it, I didn't bring any spare rockets or an ender chest. I think I took it pretty well. No, no. What? Maybe. Well, in any case, we'll have to make a boat and travel all the way back thousands of blocks away. Yikes. Well, while I'm doing that, if you guys are enjoying the video, why don't you let me know by liking and or subscribing. It'll be very much appreciated and it will show me that you guys are liking what I'm doing. If you're not, still like it anyway, guys. It doesn't matter. It's for free. Just do it. Come on. Do it. But with that being said, guys, let's move on with the episode. And lucky for me, I've got my diamond thinking cap on, so we may have found a way to get out of here. <gasps> I've got an idea. This might actually work. No! What the heck did I just do? Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Don't do it! Okay. Paper? Paper? No! God! Okay, okay, okay. Get me home. Yikes. Now let's go. For me. Alright, now that we've got a stack, I think we should try to get some red terracotta. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I think that should be enough stuff. Let's get out of here. Alright guys, as you can see, we have now finished collecting all the things that we'll need. Except, we haven't really, because we still need to make a cactus farm, because we need a hell of a lot more green dye, because, uh, well, this is just not going to cut it. So, we're going to make a cactus farm somewhere, and then I think we'll start building. It should be nice, easy, and simple. Except, 
We don't have any acacia wood. We need acacia wood. Mm, no! But first, we're gonna make ourselves a diamond trick with 423. That way, so we can get some saplings back. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it again. And again. Later that same evening. Oh, 30 minutes later, only two stacks. No, sir. New plan. <laughs> We're gonna make a tree farm. This farm was made by Il Mango. Thank you so much for making my life easier. It wasn't easy. With that being said, let's gather our materials. We'll need some stone. We'll need some redstone components. I think we'll need some more pistons, so let's go ahead and make some of that. And also some more sticky pistons. We'll just grab a few more bits and bobs. And just like that, we're all done. So this place here looks like a perfect spot to build our little tree. Perfect. So I think what we're going to do first is we're going to level out this whole area. And then we will start building a tree farm. But that being said, let's go. As you guys can see, we have dug out a hole and it's time to fill that hole with a tree farm. So as you guys can see, we have marked out where the tree farm's gonna start and um, hopefully we can get on to that. Oh, here we go. So this tree farm did take a while to build, but thanks again to Il Mango for making this design. It's gonna give us all the logs that we'll need, spruce and acacia. And as you can see, it is working on the first try, thank God. From all the spruce logs that we've collected, we're now making a giant tree stump to cover up the tree farm. With the tree stump now being done, we can go ahead and farm all the acacia logs that we needed for the cactus farm. Let's quickly do that. Oh, that's a lot of logs. Now that we have all the logs, let's go ahead and start building the farm. Alright guys, so I think we are going to be making the cactus farm right here, right next to the boathouse. And as you can see, we have all the materials that we might need in these shulker boxes. So, let's start building. Which means of course we are going into another time lapse. This will be our second last one as we do have one more farm to build. So, with that being said, let's enjoy the time lapse. And now that the cactus farm is done, let's go ahead and take a quick tour to see why we needed all the acacia logs. And there it is in all its glory, the cactus farm. As you guys can see, I did decide to make it look like some sort of factory. I ended up making some daylight sensors and putting it on top of some smooth stone to make it look like some sort of generator or fan that you might find on a building. I think it turned out pretty well. And this guys is why we needed all the acacia logs. That's right guys, just to decorate. We needed a shulker box full of acacia logs so we can use it to make pipes. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, everyone knows that acacia logs is the perfect color for pipes. I think everyone uses it for pipes and I am no different. We didn't use it just for the top, we also used it for the bottom. So let's go inside and have a look. Yep, that's a lot of acacia logs. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing with my life? We have a lot of storage as well. I don't think it's gonna fill up anytime soon, but just in case. So whilst I've been building, it's been collecting a lot of cacti, as you guys can see. We do have an overflow protection right here, this main big pipe. So when the chests are all full, it will redirect all the cacti into this processing unit right here, which will turn it into bone meal. So how this works is that I have a cake, and for those who do not know, a cake has a power signal with a comparator pointing out of it into another comparator, which is on subtract mode. So when the chest is full, the comparator pointing out of it will reach its threshold, and then it'll be able to power the rest of this redstone line which lead all the way around into the pistons in the main pipe, opening a different channel of water, which will lead it into the processing unit to make bone meal. Now, let's take a look at the actual cactus farm. So, I ended up making two more levels for the cactus farm, giving us around 432 cacti being farmed at any given tick. They fall into the water, which then leads into the middle, going up the bubble elevator and into the storage system. And now that we have all the cactus, we can start making the creeper farm, which means we're going to have to collect some more materials. What? Sorry. 
We're gonna start off by smelting some cactus, making some green dye. With the green dye, we're gonna make some green concrete powder and some green concrete. From the green dye, we're also gonna make some lime dye. And from that, we're gonna do the same thing, make some lime concrete powder and some lime concrete. We're going to gather up some more wool. We're gonna need some light gray, some red, and some dark gray. We're also gonna make some different types of concrete as well. Starting off with some white, some light gray, and some black. We weren't able to make all the black concrete that we needed, so we needed some more black dye, which meant we had to say hello to the squids. Hello, hello, konnichiwa, bonjourno, mi scusi, hola, annyeonghaseyo, aloha, and sayonara. And just like that, we're done with gathering all the materials, except not really, because we need rockets. And we don't have any gunpowder, so we're going to spend the night farming some gunpowder, and hopefully we don't die. <laughs> ah! Perfect. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I think this place right here is going to be perfect for the creeper farm. It's going to be right next to the cactus farm. And we don't have to do too much terraforming. Speaking of which, it's time to terraform. And now, the final time lapse. All right, so I have now completed the creeper, but not the actual farm. It'll be made inside of the TNT, which we will do later because right now we're gonna take a break and we're gonna go find ourselves some cats because the farm that we'll be making will need some cats. But first things first, we need to get ourselves some raw fish. So I'm gonna quickly do that. And now that I've got the raw fish, I'm gonna head over to a village that I know has a cat. And there he is. We've got one, but we need six. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for another one to spawn. Then we'll breed those two together to make six. And there's a second one, nice and easy. All right, so now that we've got two of these guys, we are gonna breed them up nice and quick. Bam, there's six. And now while we wait for them to grow up, I'm gonna go finish off the rest of the farm, which of course means we are going into another time lapse. I know, I know. Guy, you said that was gonna be the last time lapse. Yes, but technically this is the same build. So it's probably the same time. You know what? This guys is the last, last time lapse. I'm sorry. Now that the cats were all in, it was time to make sure that we actually had a place for the creepers to spawn. So I just made a rough place for all the creepers to fall into and die just to make sure it was all working. And to make sure it was all working, I had to build 128 blocks up into the sky and AFK, which I did for about a few minutes just to see if I got any drops. And lo and behold, I did. Which means we can now start to decorate because we can't live like this. So I'm going to quickly do that off camera, just like I did with the cactus farm. And I'll see you guys back in a few seconds. Three seconds to be exact. But with that being said, in three, two, 
one boom welcome back guys as you can see i have now finished with the decoration and it looks amazing if i don't say so myself which i do which means i've said it huh? what am i saying i have no idea so we ended up making it into some sort of skeleton because we are inside of a giant creeper so it would only make sense that we made a skeletal system inside of it so we have the spine which leads to the skull and of course we have the ribs coming along with it but yeah this is the collection system as you can see it's still the same thing We've got campfires on top of some hoppers which lead into a drop bubble well, two of these droppers which then is read by a comparator which then activates this redstone bit here which just sends it through into the bubble elevator on the inside of the spine which keeps it nice and clean kind of but of course with that being said let's go upstairs and see um let's go see what else has been done so i need to get this right let's see if i can up 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 yes first try oh night time all right let's get some sleep the next day and it's a new day it's a new me quite literally because uh well i logged off for several days and i have not been back until now so we're gonna finish off this tour and we're gonna do it quick so we can get this video out so what did we leave we saw the the, the the whatever this thing is and the ribs which means we are up to the skull yes look at the skull guys doesn't it look awesome give it an eye socket over there and also gave it a nostril why did we do that well because if we fly out we can see through the skull and i think that's actually pretty freaking fantastical if i don't say myself but i do and i therefore have said it if we head inside the skull you'll see that i've decorated it very um sporadically with a lot of paintings um, I had to fill up the wall somehow and I didn't know what it was just too white other than that with some random chests and some random bits and bobs all around and as you can see here we have made a brain that's right this creeper is still alive it's still ticking it's gonna blow up anytime no it's not it's not really but um the reason why I put a brain up there is because I needed to make a collection system for all the drops so um it'll go up through the bubble elevator and into the brain which I thought was a nice little detail again it goes into this pink chocolate box here and speaking of pink chocolate boxes, look at what we've done. We've collected, what was that? One, two, three, five, six chocolate boxes full of gunpowder. Um, did that, I think, across eight hours because I left it on while I went to sleep. So yeah, around eight hours and um, it was pretty uh, it was pretty interesting. All I had to do was just get some chests and hoppers and just line them down and out. I think it turned out great. I think this creeper overall turned out great. But let's have a look at the outside and see what we've done. First, let's take a look at the AFK platform. So we made our AFK platform in a fashion of a gunpowder because, um, well, we're getting gunpowder. And as you can see, uh, the paintings have now overtaken this one as well. Just because, again, it was pretty plain with the walls. But other than that, we gave ourselves a bed for whatever reason, a bookshelves and in the chest and a crafting bench as well. For no particular reason, just to decorate it. But other than that, if we stand here, right down there, there should be some creepers spawning right now. With that being said, let's go ahead and have a look at the rest of the creeper. So not much else was done to the creeper. Um, all I did was give it a platform and also add some glow lichens on top of its legs, its head, and also on top of the uh, giant TNT because we were getting a lot of spawns on the very top of here, which were also, well, obviously impacting our gunpowder rates so we have to fix that up with some glow lichen gotta love a good old glow lichen but yeah that's pretty much all done oh actually actually we need to name this giant creeper after one of our subscribers and today's lucky subscriber will be monica yes that's right monica you are now the proud owner of a giant creeper we will call you we will call this thing monica the creeper yep monica the creeper perfect <laughs> so with that being said guys i want to thank each and every one of you who have made it this far into the video who have seen all three farms being made from the very start to the very end i appreciate each and every one of you and if you appreciate what i've done if you like what i did even if you didn't please consider liking and subscribing it's completely free and it would very much help me in uh, making this youtube channel something bigger than it well than what it currently is we are now at the end of the episode Wow, green. Perfect. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned because the next few episodes are going to be huge because we're going to be making a massive project in the end. Until then, guys. Bye.